Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'll be showing what is needed and how to complete each task of the Kren and Kabo's Medium Diary. I'll be going in the order that is presented in the diary. You can see the timestamps in the description for each task below. And please make sure to like and subscribe if this video helps you out. For each task, I will tell you what skills, quests, and items are needed. You can also see the items, requirements, and timestamps now in the description below. The Taskmaster for Kren and Kabos is Elise, and she can be found in the southeast corner of the Kren Castle Courtyard. You do not need to speak with her to start, but you will need to talk with her once you complete all 13 medium tasks to collect your reward. For the medium diary, we will need the following skills, 42 mining, 45 farming, 30 crafting, 43 fishing, 49 agility, 50 fire making, 53 hunter, and 50 wood cutting. You must also have 60% Arceus House Favor, 40% Shazian House Favor, started the Fairy Tale Part 2 quest, and completed the following quests. The Queen of Thieves, Tale of the Righteous, The Forsaken Tower, The Ascent of Arceus, The Deaths of the Despair, and Eagle's Peak. The items needed are a Draymond or Lunar Staff, some combat gear, Air Crest Memoirs, any pickaxe, a hammer, about 100 to 150 nails, king worm or fish chunks, three planks, intelligence, which is obtained from gangsters in the Shazian area, a box trap, and any axe. I will now show you where and how to complete each task. For our first task, we need to travel to the south of Mount Karum using the fairy ring. The fairy ring code is CIR. So make your way to any fairy ring and make sure you have a lunar or draymond staff. The fairy ring I'm using is east of Edgeville. Once you get to the fairy ring, make sure you have your staff equipped, configure, and type in C I R. And once you teleport towards the farming guild, you will unlock this task. For our second task, we need to kill a Lizardman. Lizardmen are level 53 and level 62. What you'll need is some food, some armor, and an anti-poison as they will poison you. You'll also need to have 5% Shazian House favor to kill Lizardmen. Lizardmen are located north of the Shazian House in the Lizardmen Canyon. Once you get here, climb down the handholds and attack whichever Lizardman you'd like. And once you kill it, your task will be complete. For task number three, we're going to need to use our Kares Memoirs to teleport to all five houses in Great Krend. This does require that you complete five quests. They are the Deaths of Despair, the Queen of Thieves, the Tale of the Righteous, the Forsaken Tower, the Ascent of Arceus, as you'll be getting uh, pages to add to your Kares Memoirs. Once you've completed all five quests and have all five pages in your memoirs, Go ahead and wield it, or you can do it from the inventory and start teleporting to all five locations. Fisher's Flute is the Piscarilius area. Hearsay in History is Shazian. Jewelry in Jubilation is Lovacane. And the final one, a Dark Disposition, is Arceus, and once you teleport here, you'll have completed the medium task. Also, if you run out of charges for your Crest Memoirs, I'll post a link in the description below on how to recharge your memoirs. For our fourth task, we need to mine some Volcanic Sulfur. Volcanic Sulfur is located in the Lobocane House, and to mine it, we will need 42 mining. Volcanic Sulfur is located at any one of these five tannish circles. And though it's not recommended, I would suggest you bring a gas mask, a Slayer helmet, or a face mask, as these gas clouds will hurt you. Right, so once you're ready, head over to mine the Volcanic Sulfur. And as soon as you mine it, the task will be complete. For our fifth task, we need to enter the farming guild. The only requirement we need for this is to have 45 or higher farming. And the fastest way to get here is to use a skilling necklace. 
can teleport to the farming guild. There are a few other methods, such as a fairy ring. The closest fairy ring is CIR. Once you get here, all you need to do is open the door, and once you go through, the task will be complete. For our sixth task, we need to switch to the Arceus spellbook via Tis. Tis is located near the Dark Altar in the Arceus house. You will need to have at least 60% Arceus house favor to switch spellbooks. Once you get here, right click on Tis, spellbook, and once you get the spellbook, task will be complete. For task number seven, we need to repair a crane within the Piscarelius house. So head over to the Piscarelius house, and a fast way to get here is to use your crest memoirs, use the Fisher flute teleport. Once you get here, head over to the food hall, which has plenty of cranes. And what you're gonna need is three planks, about 100 to 150 nails, and a hammer. You're also gonna need to have 30 or higher crafting to repair the crane. Once you find a broken crane, right click it, repair, and once you repair that crane, the task will be complete. For task number eight, we need to deliver some intelligence to Captain Jenea. Captain Jenea is located in the Shazian house, east of the combat ring, in this tent right here. To get intelligence, you'll need to have 40% or higher Shazian house favor, as you'll be doing the Tackle Organized Crime Activity. Tackle Organized Crime Activity has you out to find and kill gangsters and gang bosses. To find out where gangsters and gang bosses are, come to Captain Jenea's tent, check the information board, and it'll tell you where and Karen the gangsters and gang bosses are. Once you kill enough of them, you'll receive an intelligence drop. Bring that intelligence drop back to Captain Jenea's tent, where you can turn it in, complete the task. For our ninth task, we need to catch a bluegill on Lake Mulch. This requires 43 or higher fishing as well as 35 or higher hunter. You also need to have some kingworms, and if you don't have any kingworms with you right now, there are kingworm spawns on the island. To get to the island, you'll need to enter one of these three boats. The three boats are located in Shazian, Battlefront and Mulch, go to any three boats and select Ford Bodhi, and then select Mulch Island. When you get to the island, pick up some king worms off the ground, maybe worth picking up a couple, and then also go to your equipment tab, remove any weapons, shields, and gloves you are wearing, as we need to pick up a bird. To get a bird, go to Allegory the Angler and say, Get Bird. Go through the dialogue, and as long as you don't have any of the items equipped, he'll give you a Commodore. Once you have the Commodore, you can go to any of these fishing spots to go for a bluegill fish. There are other types of fish here, so you might not catch a bluegill on the first try, which is a common tench. So keep trying until you catch a bluegill, and once you catch a bluegill, the task will be complete. To get rid of the bird, you can talk to Algri again, or you can get on the boat and it'll disappear automatically. For our tenth task, we need to use the Boulder Leap shortcut in the Arceus Essence Mine. This requires us to have 49 agility. Head over to where I am located, and once you get here, climb up this little pathway right here. And at that top of the hill, there's going to be a boulder. Jump the boulder. And once you jump it, task will be complete. Task number 11 is for us to subdue the winter tot. To do winter tot, you're going to need to have 50 or higher fire making. And you're also going to need any type of axe and a tinderbox. Also suggested to bring a knife and hammer to gain more points. And you may want to bring some warm gear such as the clue hunter gear or a Santa outfit. Santa outfit is gained during any winter event. And you might also want to bring some food as you will be losing some health. Now, this won't be a guide for Winter Tot, but I will show you the mechanics for it. Winter Tot is located in the north end of Krend, and the best worlds to do this on are 
307 and 309. Once you get here, head through the doors of Din. And if the health is not 100%, just wait it out right here because there's no need to play the mini game otherwise. But what you're wanting to do is gain 500 points for it to count as a kill. And to gain points, you can cut the Bruma, uh, the Bruma Roots. And if you want, you can use the Bruma Root on the Brazier for 10 points. Or to gain more points, you can Fletch them for 25 points. So keep cutting the roots and keep feeding the brazier. And once you hit 500 points, you can keep going for more points and more fire making XP. Or you can come over here and wait it out. And once the Winter Tots energy is at 0%, the game will end. You will receive a box and you'll complete your task. For our 12th task, we will need to catch a Chinchampa in the Krend Woodland. The Kren Woodland is located north of Land's End and south of the Shazian House. Come to where I am located. You'll need to have a box trap, as well as 53 or higher hunter. And you'll need to have completed the Eagle's Peak quest. Once you get here, lay down a box trap. And once you catch that Chinchampa, the task will be complete. For our 13th and final task, we need to chop some mahogany logs north of the Farming Guild. The fastest way to get to the Farming Guild is to use a Skills Necklace and teleport to Farming Guild, or to use a Fairy Ring Teleport and teleport to CIR. Once you make your way north of the Farming Guild, there are two mahogany trees that you can chop down. You're also going to need any type of axe, as well as 50 or higher woodcutting to chop down these trees. All you need to do is chop down mahogany. And once you get one log in your inventory, the task will be complete. To complete all 13 tasks of the Kren and Kabos Medium Diary, make your way back to Elise in the southeast corner of the Kren Castle Courtyard. Speak to Elise to unlock her award. Upon completing the Kren and Kabos Medium Diary, you unlock the following. Radis Blessing 2 which includes 5 teleports to the Kren Woodland every day, a 4% chance to catch 2 fish at once, uh, no additional experience. You'll also receive 1 antique lamp worth 7500 experience in any skill above 40. You'll gain free access to Crab Claw Island. You'll have a 5% chance to mine 2 dense essence block at once. And you'll also receive 20 free dynamite a day from Theris. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more.